all welcome to tech capture so in this video we are going to discuss about principal access boundaries in google cloud iam so this is one of the important feature in google cloud iam though it is not widely used but it can be used to improve your security posture of your organization so i would say this feature is not used in a free trial account or the personal account this is mainly used in the organization account because it is the feature at the organization level and you should have organization account to use this principal access boundary feature okay so let's first try to understand what is this principal access boundaries okay so let me first show you the typical definition of it so the principal access boundary policies limit the resources that specific users can access even if they have roles or permission assigned to it this helps prevent unauthorized access phishing or data leak so now let me try to explain you in a simple language let's say suppose i have my organization capture.com i have my email id that is my principal that is vishal.bulbule at the rate capture.com so now suppose i have access to all my google cloud organization folders and project within my organization after that also i have access in another organization let's say example.com so i have access in another organization as well also i have created my free trial account using that email id and i have access to that free trial account as well so now i am using all this organization i am just working on multiple organization or i am just uh, using the multiple google cloud environment the personal account and organization account and there are chances of a phishing attacks or data leaks i can copy the data from this gcp account to this gcp account so to avoid that we can use a principal access boundary so what it will do so it will just restrict my access only to my organization it doesn't matter if i have access to another organization still it will restrict my access to the another organization let me show you in a simple way. let me go to the cloud console now to explain it a better okay now this is my email id here it is my techtapture.com it is my organization email id and this is my organization techtapture.com and these are all resources within my organization so definitely i am having access to all these resources because i am a super admin of this organization but apart from that i have access to other projects which are not part of my organization so if i go to no organization i have access to this free trial project as well so i can i have access to both the project i can copy data from my organization to this project and this is kind of a potential security issue to avoid that what we can do we can create principal access boundary so that even though i am owner of these projects i will not able to access this project if my organization that is techtapture.com which is managing my identity restrict my access to other organization or other project okay so let me show you that so suppose if i am going to any of the project let me go to this project and if you try to go into iam and now suppose if you try to go on this principal access boundary it will not show you anything because it shows the page is viewable only for the organization so here it will not allow me to use this feature so i have to go to organization and here it will allow me to create principal access boundary policies now let me again open new tab okay and let me again show you here that i have access to techtapture.com as well as the project outside my organization now what i want to do i want to create a one policy which will restrict my access to any other project apart from my organization projects even though the other company is giving me access it doesn't matter so here you don't need to require access to other project or you don't need to have access to other organization you can just restrict my access so i cannot access other project even though i have access so here go on create policy okay display name i'll just give restrict or access okay boundary rule so you can add boundary rule description i don't want to give any a resource so you can give the resource name so resource can be your organization okay so you can give the resource i can type organization slash and i can give a number this is my organization 
okay so now I am adding policy on this organization okay I am restricting access only to this organization create okay now to whom I want to apply this policy that is the second part now I created the policy but now to whom we have to apply this policy so here once I created a rule you have to create a binding as well so here you can see the policy does not have any binding so I'll just add bindings I'll just give our binding binding ID should automatically generate but I'll just give our binding and principal set type so I'll again give to the complete organization so you can see binding will contain all service account workload pool workforce pool and workforce pool service agent associated with this organization so everything within this organization will reach this access now I will just click on add I will not test any changes this is still in preview so I'll just click on add okay and this is created now now let me test if I still have access to that other project which are not part of my organization so let me go to the other tab let me go so here tech capture I'm having access to tech capture let me see if I still have access to other projects as well so let me go to the no organization and here you can see now these projects are not visible so I'm not able to access the other projects because my policy is restricting access to other projects okay so in this way you can create policy and restrict access to your principal outside your organization now let's go back again okay I'll go back again here and I'll delete this policy I'll just delete binding okay and I'll just delete this policy as well and then again I'll try to access that and let's see if then I'll able to okay this is preview I don't want to test anything so I'll just delete delete without preview okay now policy is deleted let's wait for almost a minute and then again uh, reload again so I'll just reload again now the two project should be visible once our access policy is deleted okay so just wait for a few seconds okay now it's almost one minute let's reload again so let me reload this page again and let's see if we see that project again now yeah now you can see we can see this project and we have access to these projects now within a no organization so that's how we can create the principal access boundaries to protect our organization principles and we can improve the security posture of our access management so that's it for this video and we'll see you again in our next video